we have water in abundance. I'm going to give the fridge a thorough cleaning. A bunch of you asked for a fridge and freezer organization video. So while we're cleaning it and defrosting the fridge, um, we'll show you what we do. We have a broken fridge shelf. Wah, wah. We need to get a new one. I don't know what to do about that. Apparently we can't give Penny treats. Yeah. We keep an entire drawer full of limes. This is actually pretty empty. We buy them in bulk from Costco. The other big drawer always has cilantro and green onions and sometimes parsley and other herbs. So now the question remains, what goes where? The wine bottles will only fit here. So I guess that answers that question plastic between the glass so we don't have to worry about them breaking. Okay, we keep an entire Costco size things of pickled jalapenos. Priorities. And that's one of them. Steve's cold brew. Provided by my mother. Gotta love Lars so carefree coffee. Our fish full of water. Did, can you show them that it glugs? Actually, it might not glug right now. It's kind of full to glug. When you pour it, it glugs back. It goes like, glug, 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 glug. Almost like a fish. Almost. It was a wedding present. Yes. From my uncle, I believe. Problem is our hot sauce collection is a little bit excessive. Just a tad. No. No, this is just enough. It's just enough hot sauce? Just enough. Fish sauce can go there. Good burp, Patty. Hmm. What are you gonna do with your frog balls, Courtney? I don't know yet. I have to figure out what I need to do. I'm trying to see if I can get away without putting that broken shelf back in, because I don't like it. Frog balls don't fit there. That should probably work with the beer. Garlic. So we'll need to put something between these when we actually travel, but that should be okay for now. I think we need to keep the simple syrup. Well, not unless you're going to use it. It's only for cocktails and like we haven't used it since we moved in here. Correct. Tomatoes we need to get used and the rest of this, the water bottles are good to put between things. That's the fridge. Until we get another drawer. <laughs> the one thing many of you probably know, but some of you may not, is that the way these fridges and freezers, freezers work in RVs, they often get a little too cold and you get ice on the back of your freezer, which we have, so we're gonna defrost that now. Look at all that ice. What's in that baggie? This is peppers. Peppers? Yeah, roasted peppers. Ah. Aha! Some people might ask us why our fridge is on gas instead of electric, even though we're at a campsite. What would you say to those people, Courtney? I would say that we are mostly running off of our solar and our batteries. We very seldom turn the electric on, and so we don't want to forget um, and have the 
the fridge drain our batteries. Fridge and freezer cleaned out, defrosted, ready to go. And we will try to remember to show you what it looks like once it's full of all the veggies that we get every week. We've managed recently to do a whole week's worth of shopping and fit it in the fridge. But for a while there, it was only about a half week. So I think it depends on what we're making.